you can copy and paste armor parts from other mechas. Don't forget to save your progress after every part that you copy. You can mirror the part you made on one side so it's symmetrical on both sides. When a particular body part is selected, you can use a advanced curving tool, add bending. You can create any shape by moving these points. You can use mouse wheel to zoom in to have better overview of the vector points. You can combine bending from two different angles. By combining bending from two different sides, you can create some unique shapes. You can use squeeze tool. You can use it only from one of the two axes. Or you can squeeze an armor by using scale tool. While using scale, you're not adding more vector points, you're just extending the vector points you already have. Or you're squeezing the vector points closer together. You can use edit lock tool to add more vector points to your shape. There are also different shapes you can use. This selection makes your vector points sharp. This selection makes your vector points round. This tool resets the selected vector point. Or you can reset the whole shape. I spend a lot of time designing one piece of armor and sometimes I want to try something new but I'm not sure if it's going to look great since there is no undo button. You can click the part, mirror it and now you can work on one of your parts and the design you made you don't like you can always go back and mirror the mirror <laughs> and mirror the part you mirrored so you can revert back the design you had previously if you don't like the new design. So you can use mirror button as undo option. Make your armor at least two layers thick so you can add additional designs on top. You can use control to fill in whole length. You can also use control plus alt to delete the whole length. Very important that you read the control guide. Check materials guide. Fan shape tool is a really interesting tool you can play around. Z X axis, you can create circular shapes. X Z axis is the same thing, just a different direction. Y X axis, you can use to create tube shapes. I assume this was helpful and I hope I have earned a sub from you. Now go and create your own awesome designs. I'm looking forward to see what you come up with. Thank you for watching and bye bye.